In this video we're going to do a quick overview of the tire changing tool from Harbor Freight. Have you ever struggled with trying to take a tire off, especially a 33 or bigger? Have you ever run into these problems? Let's take a little trip on my struggles to change out a damaged 33 to convert it into a trail spare. This is what comes in the kit. You have the two support feet, the main unit, and then the bar, the mounting bar. Uh, the top end right there is what I use the most. This curved bar, or this curved end, is completely, it, I, it's, it's utterly useless. Um, did not find that it was helping at all, trying to guide uh, the tire onto the rim. So what I ended up doing, I ended up using the flat end and every three to four inches around the edge of the tire, I would pry up and literally walk the lip of the tire over the rim. So all in all, um, all in all, the machine did what it needed to do. I got the tire over my steel rim, I scratched the rim, a little touch of paint, won't hurt me. Um, this is not a show rig, so I really don't care that much. Um, one thing to do, check out, is if you do want something like this and you want to expand on it, I'll put a link down below to the guy who uh, has an attachment. He made an attachment for this part that is uh, runs on brass bearings and actually has the pneumatic hydraulic attachment that you see on most professional tire machines that circles the rim perfectly. It will not scratch, and actually he's been able to do um, aluminum rims without scratching. Um, it's pretty it's pretty neat, uh, pretty brilliant. Um, and for a little bit of work, he uh, has quite a setup and he doesn't need to pay to have his tires taken off. One thing to take away from this is that the part I was struggling with the most was holding the tire in an appropriate place. I think that's where the Harbor Freight tire changer really came into play. We're gonna try this now. If she holds air, it was worth, uh, I think, $39.99 on sale that I got it for. We'll see. All right, moment of truth. If she'll hold. I've seen it attached and anchored down to a cement floor, which is probably the best, most ideal method. I've also seen it mounted to a piece of wood, which is actually not a bad idea as long as the wood's thick enough and can hold it. I would lag it to my deck because I'm not in, uh, I'm not trying to keep that deck for much longer, um, but the wood held and it did the job. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. And please like, share, and subscribe.